welcome back to my channel and today I want to test the speed of my hexacopter. Now I've got the hexacopter out there on the helipad and uh, I just want to test how fast it flies. It is inevitable that we as drone pilots or hexacopter pilots or multi-rotor pilots, whatever you want to call us, get the question from those walking around and approaching us from uh, the outside you get these questions where did you get it from how much did it cost how high can it go or how fast can it go now that is exactly what i want to test today because my hexacopter i have flown around quite a bit and if you go look at some of my older videos you will see that it it seems to be pretty fast. I'm guessing it's about 80 kilometers per hour, but uh, some other people that have seen it guess that it may actually be faster. So what I've done is I've taken my car's GPS unit, which is, this is an old new, new V40 unit I've got up, uh, connected here, and I've cable tied that onto the exocopter. Now let's hope it doesn't fall off anyway. Now I'm going to reset its uh, parameter so that it is at zero speed and uh, that actually has a recording which uh, records your uh, maximum speed and that is what I'm hoping to achieve uh, as accurately as I can with a whatever I have here. I don't have any kind of any uh, uh, telemetry on this. Now I am going to be flying with a bit of a breeze coming from our let's say north northeast it's uh, not much of a breeze, it's not seriously strong, it shouldn't be a bother if we look at our windsock there, you can see it's lifting every now and again. So it's, it's not a crazy wind, but it is there. And uh, well, I do also have our little FPV screen here, it's not switched on at the moment. This screen is basically just set up so I can see what the exocopter is recording. I've got a Xiaomi Yi camera fitted onto the exocopter. Um, that's purely just so that I can record a little bit of uh, footage from the sky and the screen is just so that I can see what I am recording. It's not a recording session for that, but uh, purely to see how fast that machine is. So let's go ahead and do the speed test. Now the first thing we obviously need to do is zero the values on our GPS unit. Now obviously you're not going to be able to see this in this strong sunlight and I'm going to click reset and I want to reset the max click OK and max speed is now zero let's go ahead and do the test we are ready to take off uh, the wind has picked up a slight bit but I don't uh, foresee that to be a problem this hectocopter is pretty powerful and uh, should be able to fight against the wind and uh, I've got a wide camera over there. I hope you guys can see me there. And uh, that is just so you can see the back and forth flight. I'm going to be doing, um, the flight I'm going to be doing is speed runs across like this. Just so I can uh, measure the speed. I'm going to try and get at least about, let's say, 50 to 100 meters of pure flight so that I can capture the speed accurately on the GPS. I've confirmed the GPS is on. GPS is strapped down and uh, well <laughs> let's go see if this works right and I'm going to be doing an arming right she's armed there we go and motor test and let's do a takeoff uh, what I love about this machine it takes off so smoothly that is fantastic and let's just take it out and take it nice and smooth let me just get a nice area in which it is safe just going to adjust the gimbal slightly there we go and uh, let's go do our test i don't want to do too crazy let's take it down yeah Just going to take it down to that side. 
Right, we're about ready for our first run. Right, bring you back for a second run. Okay, we're running against the wind. Right, did it get a voltage warning? Obviously, we're running full speed, so it draws quite a bit on the battery. I'm going to turn it around, let's get some distance, turn it around, and let's do a full speed run. Right, there we go. I'm not going to do a speed run against the wind again. You can see it's it's pretty okay, but it's not super fast. <laughs> but I like it. Let's do another run again down this side. Right, and there we go. Okay, I think that's about as fast as I'm going to get her. Let me just check my voltages. 14.7, it's not too bad. I think I'm going to do one more run. Right. Yeah, there we go. That's three nice runs. Let's see if I've got enough voltage for I've got enough voltage for another run. I don't want to stress the motors too much. And uh, um, the battery. <laughs> Although I do think she can handle it. I've got a smaller battery. Right. Last run. Uh, the battery warnings, these beeps that you get, are very conservative. I've got it set down to, uh, I think it's 14.2. So voltage is less than 14.2, she's going to start moaning. And it seems my gimbal has <laughs> twisted itself again. But anyway, there you go. Let's see what that maximum speed was like. Oh, trying to get her landed in this wind. And there we go, we've got a nice clean landing. I'm just gonna confirm that uh, she's disarmed. We are disarmed and I'm lifting my throttle slightly. There we go, throttle is dead. So yes, there we go. Now, I'm gonna check the GPS. I'm gonna bring the camera in so you guys can see what I see. Now, let's see if it was slow or if she's actually pretty okay there we go max speed 102 kilometers per hour i don't know if you guys can actually see that but uh <laughs> i can tell you i read there 102 kilometers per hour now <laughs> guys i knew this quite this hexacopter was fast i was not expecting that kind of speed I did do a test previously where I did get that same reading. However, I did it without any cameras or any recording and uh, I was astounded and I thought, okay, well, maybe this is not quite right. Let's repeat this in camera. And there you guys have it. I have not edited this stuff and any of you guys are welcome to come and join me here and I will repeat the test and show you guys that machine actually does do a hundred kilometers per hour and you guys saw it crossing the sky those of you guys that uh, do all kinds of uh, strange measurements using video etc you're welcome to check it anyone is welcome to come and join me and see this uh, machine for yourselves i am really amazed that machine does uh, over 100 kilometers per hour that's amazing 
guys please subscribe if you uh, like my channel and uh, do like the video and please i love comments i'd really try and uh, answer all the comments and uh, if you see me not answering immediately on your comments please remind me and uh, i'll really try and get to all of them enjoy the day see you later